fifth grade lesson 41 and this is on adding and subtracting fractions with common denominators let's go over what a denominator is do you remember um no okay this if i had four sevenths as a fraction this is the denominator okay this is the numerator do you remember that okay uh -huh. now we're learning how to add or subtract fractions with the same denominator Okay, so for example, if I were to show you two-fourths plus one-fourth, and I want to know if I, if I take two-fourths of this part of the fraction and one-fourth, how much would be the total? And so I want you to watch what I do. First, I'm going to break this up into fours because it's two-fourths, right? So if I say I'm going to take two of these slices of pie, one, See that one slice? Mm -hmm. Two. That's two fourths, right? Okay. Plus, let me show an example of this one. One fourth. Okay. I'm going to take and put it here. Is that one fourth? Mm -hmm. So, two fourths plus one fourth equals three one, fourths. two, three fourths. Very good. Okay. And so, what I want you to see is that it would end up looking like this. Right? Uh -huh. Three out of four. Okay? And so these three would be filled in. Okay? But there's an easier way to do it other than having to draw pictures. What I want you to see is you only have to add the numerators. Two plus one is three. And what happens to the four? It stays. It stays the same. Now, a lot of people make the error of adding four plus four and getting eight right here. Mm -hmm. And can you see how that would be wrong? Three yeah. fours? It does not equal three eights, does it? Yeah. Okay? So this is a trick for a lot of people. But you have to realize you're only taking this portion of the, of the pie and this portion of the pie and putting them all together. The pie is still just cut into fours. It doesn't... Okay, okay you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's um, an example. Okay, let's do another one. Let's say we had to subtract... And this time I'm going to say 7 tenths minus 4 tenths, okay? Now it's going to be hard to draw tens, but I think I can do it. Um, okay. Now, it's not exactly all even, but just pretend it is, okay? So, if I have 7 tenths, all right? Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, I'm going to erase the rest of these because that's how much I have. Then, I'm going to take away 4 tenths. So, I'm going to take away this one. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, I'm going to take those away. And what do I have left? Uh, three. Very good. Three what? Three tenths. Tenths, okay, because we were still working with tenths, remember? Okay, but I could have just done it mathematically and went seven minus four equals three. And then I wouldn't want to go ten minus ten and put a zero down there. That would be wrong. Yeah. I would just want to slide it over because we're adding or subtracting fractions. Okay, so the answer would be three tenths. You got it? You feel like you understand? Yeah. All right, let's do one that has mixed numbers. Remember how we learned about mixed numbers? Yeah. Okay, mixed numbers don't just have a whole number. It has a whole number and a fraction with it, so it's called mixed. You understand? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's say you have one and one-fourth plus one and two-fourths. Okay, so let's draw a picture of what this looks like. Okay, one whole pie and one-fourth. You see how that's one and one-fourth? Mm -hmm. Okay, plus I have one whole pie and two-fourths. One, two. Okay, now how many whole pies do I have all together? Two. I have two whole pies. One, two. And then, how many pieces of pie do I have left? Three. One, two, three. Out of? 
four. Very good. So my final answer would be two and three-fourths. Okay? Now let me show you how you could do that mathematically. Okay? I'm going to line it up vertically. And there's our problem right there. Okay? And all I'm going to do is add one plus one. It would probably be best to do your fractions first because as you keep doing it, as you get older, there's going to be a problem if you start with this one front, okay? So just like every other math problem, you always go from left to right, okay? Adding or subtracting. Remember uh -huh. how you go from here to here? So that's what you're going to do on these as well. So, but you're, all you have to do is add your numerators, right? 2 plus 1, 3. three. And what am I supposed to do with my 4? Uh, just add it. Just bring it down. I'm not going to add it. Well, like, just add it to the... Yeah, bring it down. Just, yeah. yeah. Okay, and then one plus one? Two. So what's my final answer? Two and three-fourths. Pretty much, that's it. Okay, let's do this next one. Two, and I want you to watch this, write this one on your paper. Two and a half minus one and a half. Okay, so watch what happens. I have two and a half. You see that? Mm -hmm. I have two and a half, and they're wanting me to take away one and a half. What's left? One. All right, just one whole. Okay, now let's do it mathematically. Okay, two and a half minus one and a half. Okay, ready? We're going to subtract these two. One, take away one. Uh, zero. Zero out of two slices, right? Uh huh. Which is really just zero. Yeah. Because if you have no out of two slices, then you don't have any. Yeah. You understand it? Yeah. So then it's really, I can leave zero over two. And then two take away one, I would get one. Okay? But this is incorrect because you can't have that on top. Okay? But it makes sense that zero out of two is still zero. Yeah. So zero plus one just makes one home. You understand? Mm -hmm. Okay? So that's the end of that one. Okay? Now, let's try this one. I want you to do this one by yourself. Two and a half plus one and a half. Two and a half. Yes. Okay. He's exactly right. He got 2 over 2. He did 1 plus 1 and got 2 and brought down the 2. And then 2 plus 1 is 3. Now, if I have 3 whole pies and then I have 2 out of the 2 filled in, what do I really have? 4 holes. I have 4 holes. So 3 that plus that 2 over 2 becomes 1 whole pie because if I have 2... Out of two, it's one whole. So I'm really doing three plus one, right? Mm -hmm. So I get four as my answer. You feel like you understand that? Yeah. All right, that's lesson 41.